Hello everyone, I'm Skyris, a member of the dev team for the unofficial Fallout Vaults and DevClaws roleplaying system. Our goal is to get our system to be an official roleplaying system. If you would like to support this project, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and follow our other social medias in the description below to keep up to date with the development of the system. Today, we'll be going over what you'll need and how to play this roleplaying system. We are covering general information only. If you wish to look in depth into the rules, refer to the Google Doc link in the description. Let's begin. You'll need, aside from other players, an overseer, the game master of the campaign that runs the world and narrates the story. If you can't find anyone in your local vault, go out into the wasteland and look for one. When making a character, be aware that the wasteland is a dangerous place and wastelanders that work together survive. Cooperate with your fellow players and create characters that can work together. This system is classless, therefore the character sheet is your canvas. Make the character whatever you'd like them to be. To play, you'll need a V&D character sheet, the standard role-playing dice, d4, d6, d8, d10, d12, d20, and percentile dice, a journal to keep track of your adventures, character backstory, research, and so on. Tokens or figurines are optional to represent your character. If you prefer to play virtual, we recommend Roll20 as we have a character sheet available to jumpstart your campaign. If you're new to role-playing systems, this is how it functions. The Overseer is the game master that describes the environment and situation. They may ask what players want to do, and the Overseer will respond according to the situation. The players are the adventurers or wastelanders of the campaign that control and dictate their character's actions. The Overseer may ask players to roll a couple dice to determine the results of situations. These situations can range from crafting a weapon, to tracking animals, to lifting cars. Depending on the results of the dice, the Overseer describes the results of the player's actions. This is the standard process for roleplaying. You can be as flavorful as you want with descriptions and actions, but ultimately the golden rule above all is for everyone to have fun. There are many rules in this system and some may appear to contradict each other. Just remember that some rules have exceptions. Specific rules always override general rules. Fallout VND utilizes two dice systems, D10 and D100. D100 is also referred to as percentile dice. You use D10 for special checks and D100 for skill check. Special checks utilize the primary stats, strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Skill checks utilize the combat skills, archery, big guns, energy weapons, melee weapons, small guns, throwing, and unarmed. And the support skills, blacksmith, charm, chemistry, computer science, deception, doctor, engineer, gambling, gunsmith, insight, intimidation, lore, observation, pilot, sleight of hand, sneak, and survival. These will be further explained in a future video. Both dice systems function the same way. The Overseer will state the specific stat or skill along with the penalty. The penalty determines the difficulty of the action. You subtract the penalty from whatever your stat or skill is to make a result. Then roll the die or dice associated with the action. If you roll below the result, you succeed. If you roll above, you fail. When you succeed, it means you are successful in the task. If you fail, you are unsuccessful in completing the task. The result of the failure or success is described by the Overseer after the final roll is made. If you roll the same number as the result, you fail. Attacker and Defender function similar to Special and Skill Checks. The Attacker is the initiator of the action, while the Defender fends off the effect of the action of the Attacker. The Attacker rolls first, and after their final roll is made, the Defender rolls. Similar to the Checks, whoever has the biggest difference after rolling, wins. If they tie, the defender wins. This situation may occur in the case of a character lying to another player characters. The overseer dictates who's the attacker. The attacker is always the one initiating, therefore the liar is the attacker, and the other player is the defender. These situations may vary as context always matters. A few additional core rules to keep in mind that commonly pop up are as follows. If you encounter decimals or fractions, always round up to the nearest whole number no matter how low it is. This doesn't apply to the weight of an item. The assist action is a character attempting to help another character. If you're helping them with a skill check, you need at least 50 in the skill without any bonuses. You'll give your ally a plus 25 to the skill check. For special, you don't need a requirement to help. They'll get a plus 2 to the check. Base refers to the natural statistic of a character without any bonuses applied. When something states you're immune, it means you'll never be affected by the specific effect. 
This can range from damage to radiation. Perk charges are a resource you use for the specific perk to activate them. You cannot exceed the max charge of the perk, but they can be recharged after you take a successful R&R. Substitute allows you to replace a skill or special with another. You cannot apply the bonuses from a special to a skill and vice versa. You cannot use the bonuses from the original and substituted special or skill at once. You can only pick one. Reroll is as it is stated. You can reroll the dice depending on what your character is allowed to reroll. This can be from perks, drinks, etc. If you roll, you must take the last roll you do as the final check. All bonuses are to be applied for the initial roll. No bonuses can be applied during rerolls. The reroll will also be specific. Some may only be for skills, damage, or special. Lastly, Vault Points are a resource that have the potential to create powerful moments that could decide your character's fate. Vault Points are awarded by the Overseer when characters roleplay, finish story arcs, or pull off a badass moment. Vault Points can be used to get bonuses to checks, keeps you alive at 1 HP if an attack would finish you off, and even add detail to the environment that could give you an advantage. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the development of our system. We'll see you next time. Take care.